You gotta get them up against a rock and then you can wreck them. I think if you're in close, they can't shoot you. So get in close and punch the snot out of them. Ow! Oh, you're going down too. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Smoke and Sacrifice. This is on Steam right now. I'll put a link down below in the description. It's $20 US monies. And it's for Windows only and single player only. And I received a copy of the game from the developer. Uh, Solar Sail Games and Curve Digital. Those are the two names behind the, the title. So check it out if you like what you see here. And I'm playing Sachi right here. Um, and we're in some kind of a strange world. And there's bells ringing and a baby crying. And I think the baby's mine and I have to go find him. Why so sad, Sachi? The sun tree decrees this is the time of joy. I've even baked some sweet cakes for after the ceremony. Um, yeah, so we have to go find our son. There's some kind of ritual. I'm pretty sure it involves our son. Hardy beasts, these. They don't eat much or mind the cold. It's a yak. All right. And now uh, let's follow that baby crying. It's around here somewhere. So people are comparing this to sort of like don't starve without all the food elements. You don't have to worry about eating or anything. But there, there is some combat and there's crafting and building and that kind of thing. Oh, it's such a bittersweet day for you, Sachi. We've all grown to love little Leo. I'm pleased he's going to a better place. But I can't deny I'll miss his smiles and babbling. See what I'm talking about? This is what everybody's saying. It sounds like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, what's this? This, like, uh, fake tree? It's a fake tree. I think we should go talk. Oh, talk to this guy right here. Father Telemac, how we doing? Hello, Sachi. I hope you are looking forward to your son's ritual. I've presided over a hundred of these, and they still fill me with joy. Please present the child to me when you are ready for the procession. Okay. I don't like the sound of that, but at least here's a kid right here. So I guess that's a good sign. Hi, Sachi. Are you off to do your ritual? I wish I was allowed to go. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go, kid. So I don't know. Is it Sachi or, or Saki? I think it's Sachi. The sun tree keeps our whole community alive. All right, let's focus on the task in here. Let's go find our baby. Poor little bugger's crying. Oh, hi, ma'am. Villager. There you are, Sachi. Leo's just woken up. He's been good all he's been good as gold all day, but he wants his mother now. He's waiting in the house. I as I'm sure you can hear him. Yes, I can hear him. Let me go check it out. Wait. Go on, Sachi. Don't you hear the little lad squalling? I think this is like our babysitter. Oh, this is it. Sachi's house. There's the little guy. Oh, he's happy now. I heard a little giggle. Oh, he's adorable. There you are. Did you sleep well? Yes, you did. Oh, Leo, I know it's for the best, but I don't know how I'll do this. Oh, she's crying. Sachi's house. P Podgy Bear, Leo's favorite toy. I, I suppose he won't need it anymore. Oh my gosh, this is, sounds horrible. This is the shrine I built when Leo was born, ready for today. There, that's better, isn't it, little one? You wouldn't wail so if you knew what joy awaits you tonight. Sachi, Father Telmac is waiting for you by the sun tree. Oh gosh, we're gonna go see this guy. Is there any way I can just run away with the kid? I'm not doing it. I don't think you can because there's like some kind of border around the outside of this world and you freeze if you leave. So let's just get it done. Ah, you're ready to begin the ritual. Good. I will ask Father Smother to summon the congregation. Uh, do we have to? Oh my gosh. Look at all these freakazoids. What is going on? These masked weirdos. I don't like the looks of this one bit. Uh oh. Oh dear, look at this. Uh, anybody? I'm trying to run away, but my, I can't move. This is not right. Please, let's talk about it. Look at this guy. This has a grim looking face. They're all grim. Father Marduk. Alright, uh, I guess I gotta talk to Telemac. Telemac, can we, can we discuss this, please? Ready, Sachi? Very good, then let us begin. Once more we gather in the warmth of the sun tree. Once more we honor him with the right of the firstborn. As his day fades once more into night, we beseech him. Hold us ever within your gaze. Let it never flicker. Let our sacrifice be accepted and your blessings continue. Sachi, mother of a babe without name, present him in humility and gives him unto you with gratitude, devotion, and love. Sachi, when you are ready, please place the babe on the altar. Are you kidding me? This is insanity. I won't do it. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. I'm going to leave. Let me out. I don't think you can leave. I think we have to do this. They're not really going to sacrifice a baby. There's some kind of strange thing going on here. I know a little bit of the story. He gets teleported somewhere. Don't worry about it, people. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little one. It's okay. It's okay, Sachi. 
You shall meet again. Oh, look at that little guy. Bye, Leo. We'll see you soon. The sacrifice was accepted. The sun cycle continues. Through the gift of this nameless child, we profess our faith. Great sun tree long. May your merciful blessing rest with us. Blah, 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 blah. They knew your name was Leo. Couldn't they have given you that much? These people are... You guys are a bunch of wag jobs. I don't want anything to do with you. I'm leaving now for good and forever and... You did wonderfully, Sachi. Let the sun's tree love envelop you. Now off you go. There's no sense lingering in the temple. Yeah, I don't want to stay here. Psst, Sachi, over here. Okay. Let's go talk, talk to this fella. I think eventually this is going to open up into more of an open world kind of thing. It will be on our own to do what we want but it is an RPG open world RPG with a narrative that you kind of have to follow along and give you some guidance and stuff but I think we'll be free to do some stuff here momentarily uh, who are you why have I never seen you before never seen me hmm I remember you quite well saw you up on your dad's shoulders when you were a little one I've traded in this village for longer than you've lived child I just like to go traveling from time to time traveling but there's nothing out there how do you survive the pug bears manage it don't they but that's beside the point. I've been away too long. Much has changed, yet it all stays the same. Children grown and another generation of them departed in sorrow. No, it's okay to cry, my dear. Named him, didn't you? Leo. I called him Leo. Not that they cared. Huh? Look at her cry. Leo, it's a fine little name for a little one who will never grow up. There now. I'm not much for gift giving, but please take this pendant. It's precious, for it will light your way in the dark from time to time. Put your mother love into it and remember your Leo by it. But hush, priests are coming. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I don't trust them. Up to no good. Oh, here we go. That went smoothly. Smothered thought she might make trouble. Never know how they'll react, eh? Do you think the boy will thrive down there? He seemed a little sickly. I hope so. We can't afford to lose too many. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I told you. He's fine. We just gotta go down there and get him. But they're talking as if Leo's still... Huh? Where'd you go? Hey, lay people may not linger on the temple grounds at night. You should be off home to bed. Please return to the village. Okay. All right, we're back at the village. Seven years? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I guess you never figured out a way to get down there to get the kid. Sachi, don't you hear the bells? It's time to finish the day. It feels a little early, though. Have we done a full day already? Wait, what's going on? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Everything's getting dark. What just happened? It was day and now it's night. Has the sun tree forsaken us? It should. People are a bunch of freaks. Can I pick up the crops, by the way? Oh, oh, we're talking. If it weren't for the sun tree, nothing would grow. I don't know what's going on. Everything's getting dark here. What's up? Is the world ending? We should go back to the village and consult the priests. All right. Let's go back to the village and consult the priests. I'm not sure where the village is. This looks frozen. Yeah, this stuff you can't really go out there and say, Hey, because it's cold, and you will die. I think. Oh, here we go. Help! Sound the alarm! Pug bears are attacking the village! Oh, dear. Pug bears? They must have noticed the sun tree failing. Sachi, have you seen Father Telemac? Or even Father Smotherk? Nobody knows where they are or what to do. Just try and get a defense organized. I'll see if I can find them. Surely they're in the temple, if anywhere. Avoid the pug bears and head northeast to the temple to look for the senior priests. Northeast. Okay. We can do that. Alright. Northeast. Oh. I heard something. Oh no! Sounds like a fight. Run! Oh, what is that thing? Oh, it's a pug bear. Oh, he's big and ugly. Get him, little villager. I gotta go to the northeast. So that would be this way. Gotta get to the temple. Oh. Going the right way. Oh, you missed. Hit the bell. These bells are rung to call everyone to prayer. All right. Oh, here we go. This is the place. Oh, it's a stranger. Hello again, Sachi. Long time no see. You again? You do like to turn up out of nowhere. Have you seen the senior priest? We're under attack. So I notice, as usual, my timing is impeccable. To answer your question, the temple is empty, not a priest in sight. A good time to poke your nose in if you're the curious sort. You may not find assistance, but you might uncover a secret or two, eh? All right, here we go. But if they're not in the temple, then where are they? Ah, now that is the question, isn't it? You know the right of the firstborn is not all it seems. Today, finally, your chance has come to discover more. 
Perhaps it's your chance to find your son again. Who knows? A wise person is prepared for anything. But, I don't know. Can he be alive after so long? I guess if there's a chance, I have to take it. First, let me go to my shrine and get Paji Bear. I don't know if Leo would remember him, but just in case. Oh, great. By all means, mind the pug bears. Retrieve Paji Bear from the shrine by your house. <laughs> okay. I just came from that way. Should have picked it up on the way here. Oh. Oh, they attack with big bones, the pug bears. All right, we're going to find our house. Is there no map in this game? No. Wow, watch out. Woo. Swing and a miss. Is this my shrine? That's a shrine, but not my shrine. Okay. All right, we're going to go around this way. How come nobody's fighting these things? There he is. Get him. Paji was Leo's favorite. It's comforting to have him. All right, stop talking. Return to investigating the temple. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the temple we go. Let these losers fight the Pudgy Bears. P Pudgy Bears? I mean, Pug Bears. <laughs> Whoa, watch out! All right, there we go. I'm back. The temple stands empty. Don't you wonder what secrets it holds? Yes, I do. I'm going to go in now. Ooh, look at that ape skull or something. It's kind of freaky. This game's a little bit dark. But we know that the baby is not dead. Oh, here we go. My pendant. What's happening? All right, we're getting sacrificed to the sun tree, just like little Leo. Aha! I knew it all along. Seven years ago, this happened to Leo. Oh, smoke and sacrifice. All right. So that was all the big cutscene. Rock all around me and above as well. Am I underground? It looks like a swamp from the old picture books. Maybe there's someone around who can tell me where I am. Your, sa your progress will be safe. Yeah, save it. Okay, good. In future, you can save your progress by visiting a terminal. That must be a terminal. Quest log Q. All right. Inquire about your son, son amongst the locals. Talk to the locals to learn about this strange place. And we got a control panel here. What does that do? I can't get to the controls right now. We've got some kind of uh, gauge up here. Travel tube. Doors are closed. But I can put a token in. Alright, so that's where you save it. Don't need to save it right now. Here, Oh, here's a guy. You are not like us. How strange. A figment of the smoke? How will you survive the smoke time with no mask or lantern? You should hurry and catch yourself a lantern fly. What? You don't even have a net? Have you lost the recipe? It's hard when the forgetting takes you. Alright, so our first recipe. You need to make a sticky net. Four polyps and two sour tree branches. Great for catching insects. Okay. There, bring us a lantern fly quickly and we'll set you right. Alright, so we need to gather some ingredients. You can open the crafting menu pressing C. Inventory's I. Alrighty, there, there we go. Here we go. Sour branch. Well, that was easy. We've got two sour branches. What is this stuff? Dirt mound. Can't dig in the dirt mound. Ew, what is that little guy? Press R to attack. Space to dodge. Hold on, I'm picking up an onion. Oh, what's he doing? Alright, get wrecked. Oh. Space is jump. Oh, right click. Right click's attack. Whoa! Huh. Huh. That's all I have is my fist to fight. Ow! Really? Wow, I mean, this has got some range. Let me get out of that thing. Whew. Alright, take him on. This is a polyp. I think we have to do this anyway to get a polyp. Right? Bam! Bam! Woo! Jump, jump, jump! Okay. I'm using a keyboard and mouse here, so it's a little more difficult than, say, a controller. <laughs> but right mouse button does attack. And we got one polyp out of that guy, so I guess we're gonna have to get another one. I'm just gonna grab everything. I don't know if it's all important or not. Oh, there's a little fly! But we need a net to get him. Alright, let's hit C for the crafting menu. We need three more of those stinking polyps. Another gatherer. All right, well, we gotta go find that little polyp, more polyps, and kill them. What is this thing? Oh, I just punched, I'm punching wood. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some more sour tree branches. Aha, got one, got one. Let's see if I can get a few swings in before he does his his attack. One, two, three. Yeah, I got this. We got this now. We got this now. Two, three. Go for it. Oh no. Okay. Almost had him. Every time you swing, you back up a little bit, which is weird. Put me out of range. Oh, what was that? A brain. Polyp brain. <laughs> I don't think I need the brain. All right. We got everything we need. Oh, I'm going to hold it down. 
And now we have a net. Great for catching insects. Let's grab one. <laughs> we got him. It didn't sound like he liked it much, though. All right, inventory. Lantern fly. It's certainly glowy. There's that polyp brain. Oh, the stuff degrades. Look at the net. It's degrading? Really? Even some of the stuff I picked up off the ground is degrading already. Get him. I got two of them. Ha <laughs> ha. Another one. All right, let's go find the guy. Are you the guy? Is that a lantern fly in your pack? Or are you just happy to see me? Perhaps there is hope yet. <laughs> there better be. New recipe. We can make a lantern. It's a light source. It clears the smoke to prevent choking. Put it in a lantern and it will drive away the choking smoke. Mind the smoke, ghosts, for they'll try to snuff your light. But you really need a lantern if you plan to wander about. Okay. Did we get a new quest? Inquire about your son and craft a lantern. A lantern. Oh, I can make one. We got everything we need. Boom! All right, we got a lantern. Very good. Let's close that window down. Oh, wow, that really does glow. Now, the question is does that degrade too? Oh, it does. Ah. So, we're going to have to make multiples. Probably have some backups just in case. All right, well, I'll snatch up some more items, but I guess uh, now that that is done, show your lantern to the guys. Uh, let's go show the guy the lantern. Yoo-hoo! Hey, Gather, I got a lantern. You have a lantern? That's what I said. Oh, what a relief. It seems you have a lot to learn about survivals. Here's a tip. We use recipe hides to train our youngsters to the toil. The recipes are written in secret ink that quickly fades. You want to try If you want to reveal them, rub the hides with sour fruit juice. Sour fruit juice. Okay, it's a flask of sour fruit juice. That's the restores health. I've marked a recipe hide on your map. You can try it. So we do get a map. To ask characters about a quest item, open the inventory, select the item, and choose show. Oh, like this. Show. Okay, I'm going to show you my podgy bear. A lost child? There is a feral child living not far from here. You'd need to cross the icy wasteland to the south to reach her. But dressed as you are, you would surely freeze to death on the ice. You should consult the masters. They've been around recently. Here, I'll show you on your map where to find them. Okay. I'm glad we showed him Ponji Bear. You can view the map by pressing M. And we finally have a map. Very nice. Marduk, Priest of Bone, lives to the south. Is that the guy we got to talk to? A locked casket here, a locked tube. Oh, we should save it. Yeah, let's go save it right quick. Um, is there no little mini map? I'm going to have to keep bringing up the big map. All right, change of plans. We don't need sour fruits. We already have the juice right here. We got that as a uh, as a quest reward, pretty sure. Uh-oh, something's steaming. And we got to get over here to the recipe hide, which is on red. That's right here. And we can use it. Recipe hide. Click on it. It's a stretch hide. I think there's writing, but it's too faded. All right. Well, what do I do with this thing? Oh, I just drank it. Fur jerkin. We got a new recipe. A fur jerkin. Five hog hides, five moss tufts, and three bones. First set is three pieces. Partial protection from cold and physical blows. Well, we need that so we can go find the feral kid in the woods. Right? All right. Cool. There's no more to uncover. So that's how we get new recipes. Oh, who's this fella? What? Head overloader here? Marduk, you idiot. Did you leave the teleporter controls unlocked? I did not, and I resent the assumption of negligence. I failed to see how else this could have happened. You there, Sachi, is it? Return whence you came at once. Smotherk? Marduk? What are you doing here? What is this place? That is no concern of yours. You have no right to be here. It would be most dangerous for you to remain any longer. I can't go back. The machine is broken. So, neener, neener. Broken? Impossible. It has worked without fail for centuries. Ugh, you deal with the girl, Marduk. I have other things to do. <laughs> you deal with the sassy girl, Marduk. Lucky you. Hmm, my fiery colleague never did think things through. I suppose you profane the holy temple sneaking through it like a thief. How you activated the teleporter, I cannot begin to guess. But it is irrelevant for you cannot return to the surface. Broken or not, I locked the teleporter controls myself. Allow you to leave after the seeing this place would not be folly. Would be folly. Here, make yourself a weapon, and you may survive the local fauna. I'm going to make a cudgel. Quills. All right, I got the branches. 
Uh, we just need the quills. Quills can be obtained from the hoglings that roam the swamp. The sun tree teaches that even fools must be allowed to a fighting chance. Okay. Very good, then. All right, so we need to find um, the piggy wiggy things, whatever they are. How am I going to fight a piggy wiggy? Oh, there's one right there. What do I whack him with? Ah. Ow! Hey! That wasn't very nice. There's two of them. Wait a second. I want to put this thing down. How do I unequip it? I don't think I should beat him with that thing. It's going to get degraded. Ow! Ow. Oh, you little. Uh. This is going to hurt. I'm going to be punching the thing with quills. That's not smart. Stand still. Uh. That's right, you little rat. Oh, I can jump at him by dodging forward. Yeah, keep him on the rope, Sachi. You got him. Look at him try to run, you little porker. Got him. Oh, we got pork. And some hides. And get the quills. All I really wanted. What did we get? We got hog hide, which we can use to make the fur, right? Quills. And we got pork. Yay. We got some bacon. Let's go kill his friend. I'm gonna punch the snot out of him. Oh, oh gosh. There's two of them. <laughs> Whoa. Incoming. I only want one of you turkeys. Oh, man, you little rascal. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta get him up against a rock, and then you can wreck him. I think if you're in close, they can't shoot you. So, get in close and punch the snot out of him. Ow! Oh, you're going down, too. Get out of here. I'm busy. All right, pick the stuff up before it degrades. Ow! Dude's got some range. Yes! The bacon returns health! Woohoo! Okay! That's good to know. Let's go get one more. Wait, did I have? How many quills do I have? Oh, I have three quills. Okay. I can make the thing now, right? Yep. Craft it up. Now we're in business, baby. Now we're in business. Let's go talk to the guy. There you are. I did it. I made the, the branch with the spikes. Hmm, good. Making a weapon is a start, at least. Have you yet encountered the smoke ghosts that plague this place? My studies suggest that the drear one had a way to drive them off. And I believe the recipe lies somewhere in the heartbroken waste. Ah, we have to make a rubbing kit. We need triacle paper, black powder, and bones. You may need these kits to take an impression of the recipe stone. All right. Oh, there's a shadow right there. I see it. Oh, and if we pick up these things, does it destroy the light? Are those actually providing light? Maybe it's not a good idea to pick up these um, glow ferns. <laughs> oh, you're you're back again. Listen, I have, a, I have an actual weapon now, you turkey. All right, let's go kill this uh, polyp over here. Oh, look at that. The lantern does actually push the darkness away. But we're going to need another one, and we're going to need it quick. Let's get this fella. Mm. Mm. Alright, got him. We're gonna need a lot of these polyps. Oh no! Can I stand near you with your lantern, please? Because mine, this time, it is truly gone. And I need one more polyp. Grab another buggy! Ooh. Oh man, this shadow! It's nasty! Okay, you can right click to equip or left click, favorite it. Oh, here we go. Let's favorite those two. Now, what does that mean? I can just go up there and maybe switch between the two? Oh, yeah, okay, favorited them. And you can switch between them with your mouse wheel. Very nice. All right, uh, sun's coming up or whatever. There we go. Yay, Steam Train. Train's here. All right. Oh, and then these things go back into their little husks. Okay, we don't need them anymore. That's why they do that. I gotcha. All right, then. Let me... What do we need to do right now? What is our next quest? Show Podgy Beer. Oh, well, I tried doing that. I tried showing uh, Marduk my Podgy Beer, but it didn't work. Marduk, I want to show you this. There we go. You got to left click to show. I think I was right-clicking. You seek your son in Wilding Swamp, a futile endeavor. You gave up your son as a devout mother should. Why seek him now? You will have to cross the wasteland as your map will show. And we need fur boots for that. Use these fur boots to traverse the ice or you will quickly perish. I will not hinder you in your search, but do not bother me further. All right, fine. 
Okay, so it shows a symbol over their head when they when you can ask them about something or show them. So that makes sense. Uh, we got to go all the way down here to Wilding Swamp, but we're going to need those booties. And we can make them! Because they have everything we need. Polyps and hog hides. Sweet! Right! Oh, look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. So now we can walk on the ice, and I bet these degrade too. Yeah, they do. Everything degrades over time, so you gotta do everything quick. You can't linger or dally like I'm doing. So I think what I might do though is call it quits right here. Is that stuff falling to the ground or am I getting it? And uh, if you want to see more, let me know. Leave a like on the video and a comment and we shall continue. I, I sort of like it. I'm not crazy about the degrading thing, but I guess that's to give you a sense of urgency. So you gotta keep moving and you can't linger around too long. Should probably go check out that locked chest too, huh? Yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Let me know again if you want to see more. I'd be glad to do more. And uh, with that, my friends, we'll see you next time. Again, this is Smoke and Sacrifice. Link down below. Check it out on Steam. And have a good day. Bye bye.